Diabetic Muscle Disorders. Uh, in this lecture, we are uh, going to uh, explain uh, what are the most common uh, genetic disorders of the muscle, whether uh, they are uh, due to defect in the muscle contractile proteins or due to a genetic defect of the enzymes involved in metabolism. Uh, so, in uh, the lecture, احنا هنشرح كل الجينيتك ديس اوردر او مش كلهم اهم الجينيتك ديس اوردرز الخاصه بالسكلت المسل والهارت كارديك مسل كمان هنقول الجينيتك ديس اوردرز اللي هي يا اما بسبب ديفكت في الكونتراكتايل بروتينز البروتينز اللي مسؤوله عن المسل كونتراكشن جينيتك ديفكت فيها او ديفكت في الانزيمز اللي ليها علاقه بالميتابوليزم زي الجلايكوجين ستورج ديزيزز اللي اخدناهم قبل كده Uh, so mainly in this lecture, we are discussing uh, the disorders uh, which take place due, uh, due to genetic mutation of proteins involved in muscle contraction. Uh, there are some genetic defects uh, that uh, affect the muscle proteins itself, and thus they affect muscle contraction. They are of genetic origin. Uh, also, we are uh, revising together the inherited mutations in genes coding for enzymes involved in metabolic pathways, like those involved in glycogen storage diseases. في المحاضرة دي هنشرح إيه هي الجينيتك ديس أوردرز اللي بتحصل في المسل سواء على مستوى المسل بروتينز لأن ممكن يبقى في المسل بروتينز نفسها فيها جينيتك ديفكت البروتينز اللي مسؤولة عن المسل كونتراكشن أو الديفكت في الإنزيمز Uh, mutation fill enzymes اللي ليها علاقه بالمتابوليك pathways في المسلز uh, زي مثلا الجلايكوجين ستورج ديزيزز ودول احنا اخدناهم قبل كده First of all we are discussing uh, one of the most common um, uh, uh, genetic disorders uh, that affect muscle protein Here the genetic disorder affect the contractile muscle protein proteins responsible for muscle contraction like this uh, one uh, Dushan Uh, muscular dystrophy uh, mutation here is the in the gene coding for uh, dystrophin what is dystrophin uh, this is a muscle protein that anchors or bridges the actin cytoskeleton to the extracellular matrix and the interior phase of the plasma membrane we can simplify this by saying that dystrophin is a muscle protein existing inside the muscle cell and it, uh, it forms a bridge that links the intracellular uh, uh, cytoskeleton or the actin filaments of the cytoskeleton with the extracellular matrix and thus they uh, help to perform proper muscle contraction okay so this dystrophin uh, form a bridge a link between the actin of the intracellular uh, 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 muscle cell uh, to uh, the extracellular matrix so they help uh, in the proper muscle contraction Such link is important for assembly of the synaptic junction or for pro pro proper muscle contraction. Here, um, mutation be the gene الخاص بالdystrophin. إيه الdystrophin ده protein muscle protein. دوره إنه موجود جوا المسل سيل عشان يعمل زي أنكر أنكر يعني زي help زي حاجة بتشبك يعني زي link bridge كبري حاجة تشبك إيه حاجة تشبك البروتين الأكتين اللي مسؤول عن المسل كونتراكشن اللي جوه السيل اللي جوه المسل سيل تربطه بايه؟ تربطه بالاكسترا سيلولار ماتريكس فلما حاجه تبقى رابطه الانترا سيلولار مسل بروتين اللي مسؤول عن الكونتراكشن اللي هو الاكتين بالاكسترا سيلولار ماتريكس ده حاجه بتساعد على السينابتيك بروبر سينابتيك جنكشن انها تبقى اسامبلد تبقى بتحصل بطريقه متناغمه ومنظمه والمسل كونتراكشن تحصل بطريقه مظبوطه يعني بتساعد على البروبر مسل كونتراكشن ده دور الديستروفين ميوتيشن في البروتين ده في الجين بتاع البروتين ده بيعمل حاجه اسمها دوشان ماسكلر ديستروفي ماسكلر ديستروفي طبعا يعني معناها ماسل ويستنج ماسل ويكنس اوكي as we can see here this is a diagram uh, presenting uh, the dystrophin uh, it shows the dystrophin protein This is the dystrophin protein. It's present inside the cell. This is a muscle cell, skeletal muscle cell. This is the protein which we are talking about, our protein of interest. Here it links the intracellular actin. This is the actin filament responsible for muscle contraction. Here the dystrophin links the actin inside the cell with the extracellular proteins of the extracellular 
matrix okay so this trophin here acts as a bridge and this link helps the proper muscle contraction the link دي اللي عملها this trophin ما بين ال extracellular matrix وال الاكتين اللي جوه السل البريدج اللي بيعملها دي هي دي اللي بتساعد عن السينابتيك جنكشن تبقى منظمه وبتساعد ان يحصل بروبر ماسل كونتراكشن ده البروتين بتاعنا اللي بنتكلم عليه لما بيحصل فيه جيناتيك ديفكت في الجين بتاعه بقى بيحصل الماسل ديستروفي اللي بنقول عليها سو so, دوشان ماسكولار ديستروفي از اور ريزالتس فروم انابيليتي of altered forms of dystrophin. So the problem here is that we have genetic defect of dystrophin. So the protein of dystrophin is in an altered form, is in an abnormal form, okay? Uh, uh, this abnormal form results in inability to support the formation or, uh, or uh, of uh, functionally competent uh, synaptic junction. So this will lead to abnormal synaptic junction, okay? Uh, يبقى ال 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 abnormal muscle contraction يبقى الدشان muscular dystrophy ده بيبقى نتيجة ان في البروتين بتاعنا اللي هو dystrophin ليه altered form بقى شكله غريب في genetic defect البروتين كميته قليلة او non-functional او whatever فبالتالي مش هيعمل support function مش هيعمل اللينك اللي بنقول عليه البريدج ده مش هيحصل فالسينابتك uh, junctions هتبقى مش competent not functionally competent functionally competent يعني تبقى سليمة uh, uh, هنا هيحصل failure of uh, the functionally competent synaptic junction this is a diagram representing uh, a, a, a child or an individual with muscular dystrophy um, in comparison to a normal person as you can see here the normal in normal we have a muscle tone we have our muscles powerful uh, of certain size and there is muscle tone okay in case uh, there is muscular dystrophy muscles are wasted muscle size muscular size is very small as we can see here the muscle size is very small okay and uh, hence it's very weak so the patient will suffer from short stature because his muscles are very weak short stature uh, uh, he will have a severe weakness in his muscle uh, it can prevent him from walking اوكي okay. يعني ممكن الشخص اللي عنده muscular dystrophy زي ما انتم شايفينه كده مقارنه بالشخص السليم احنا عندنا muscle tone muscle bulk muscle بتاعتنا بتبقى strong بيبقى ليها شكل حجم وهو ده اللي بيخلينا شكل لينا شكل معين مشدود بتون معين وهكذا اي شخص بقى عنده muscular dystrophy عضلاته حجمها صغير قليله ضعيفه فبالتالي في ضعف عام ومش هيبقى عنده difficulty in walking وsometimes في ناس مش بتقدر ان هي تتحرك اوكي okay? so uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a type of muscular dystrophy recessive genetic disorder uh, causing uh, fast deterioration of muscle there is fast deterioration the muscle becomes de deteriorated it loses its tone it becomes very small in size and this will affect and, and, and it becomes very weak and this affects uh, walking um, and uh, affects an individual's life يعني الشخص ده بيبقى المرض ده recessive disorder بيبقى عنده fast deterioration في المصل العضلة بتضعف بشكل سريع جدا حجمها بيقل القدرة على الحركة بيقل في بعض الحالات بيبقى عندها complete paralysis يعني شلل Uh, as we can see here, it's an autosomal recessive disorder. What's meant by autosomal recessive? It means that uh, it requires two genes, two alleles of the gene to be affected. Okay, so this means that if, uh, if one of the parents is affected, uh, they, they are both carrier. Okay, they are not uh, diseased uh, because it's recessive. Okay, in case this is the condition uh, and they have four children, one of them will have the muscular dystrophy. The, the, this is what's meant by uh, autosomal recessive. It means that it affects 25% of individuals. يعني autosomal recessive معناه إنه لو في شخصين حاملين للمرض وخلفوا أربع أطفال واحد منهم بس اللي ممكن يجيله autosomal recessive disorder. ده دي حاجة بقى في المندلين لو اللي أنتوا عارفينا إنه autosomal recessive يعني affect 25% من individuals. Disorders of uh, or genetic diseases of the muscle. Uh, this type is called uh, inherited cardiomyopathies. 
um, cardiomyopathies, it means that uh, the affection here is for uh, the cardiac muscle. Here, the cardiac muscle is affected by a myopathy or a diseased cardiac muscle. It's an inherited disorder. There are a group of inherited disorders uh, or inherited cardiomyopathies. Okay. Um, they can be either disorders of cardiac energy metabolism, which means mutation in the genes of the enzymes involved in fatty acid oxidation or oxidative phosphorylation. The defect here in, is in the genes of the enzymes responsible for metabolism inside the cardiac muscle, like enzymes involved in fatty acid oxidation or oxidative phosphorylation. So these are the energy producing muscles energy producing enzymes they are deficient and thus there, thus there will be uh, a weakness of the cardiac muscle fatty acid oxidation of course is very important for the muscle as energy for the cardiac muscle as an energy source so defect in uh, enzymes of fatty acid oxidation will definitely affect the function and the power uh, of the cardiac muscle okay it will lead to cardiac muscle weakness this is the first type of cardiomyopathy uh, يبقى من أحد أنواع ال genetic disorders of the muscle of the muscle إن يبقى في uh, inherit uh, affection لل cardiac muscle ال genetic disorder هنا affecting cardiac muscle okay uh, فبنسميه cardiac myopathies <coughs> ما genetic disorders طبعا أول واحد فيهم اللي هو ال disorder بيبقى في الإنزيمز الخاصة بالمتابوليزم في cardiac muscle خاصة بالenergy production في cardiac muscle زي مثلا mutation في الجينز اللي ليها علاقة بالإنزيمز بتاعة ال fatty acid oxidation ال fatty acid oxidation تعتبر من أهم مصادر الطاقة في cardiac muscle فلو في defect في الإنزيمز بتاعتها هيبقى في Uh, defective energy production في cardiac muscle ويبقى فيه cardiomyopathy أو يبقى المشكلة في الإنزيمز بتاعة الأكسيداتيف phosphorylation ده أول نوع من cardiomyopathy إن ال disorder يبقى في الإنزيمز بتاعة الميتابوليزم تاني نوع الميوتيشن هنا في cardiomyopathy due to uh, uh, gene uh, uh, encoding protein defect أو mutation في gene encoding Uh, proteins involved or affecting myocardial contraction يعني هنا المشكلة في الـ في الـ في الـ proteins بتاعت الـ بتاعت الـ contraction نفسها زي الـ dystrophin كده في الـ skeletal muscle هنا الـ defect في الـ proteins بتاعت الـ الـ contraction بتاعت الـ cardiac muscle contraction زي الـ defect في الـ myosin, tropomycin, troponins الكلام ده كله Okay. If at the second type of inherited cardiomyopathy, here the genetic defect or the mutation is in the genes of the proteins involved in muscle contraction. Proteins responsible for cardiac muscle contraction are defective, like defective myosin, tropomycin, or disorders uh, due to metabolic defects uh, here the defect is due to uh, defect in the genes encoding for the enzymes responsible uh, for metabolic pathways like those of glycogen storage disease يعني هنا المشكلة في الانزيمز uh, الخاصة بالمتابوليزم genetic defect في الانزيمز الخاصة بالمتابوليزم زي الجلايكوجين storage disease اللي احنا درسناهم قبل كده the first one is storage disease which is phosphofractokinase 1 deficiency defect uh, in this glycolytic enzyme will lead, to gly will lead to glycogen accumulation. So it's one type of glycogen storage disease. Uh, so um, glucose cannot be oxidized uh, and there's glycogen storage disease. So this means that there is no enough energy uh, in the muscle because we cannot metabolize glucose. So there will be muscle weakness as a result of loss of energy, cramping with exercise because there is no enough ATP in the muscle. Uh, myoglobin will be destroyed due to lack of energy as well and it will be released in urine and will be increased in the blood. The normal glycogen storage disease and مشكلة هنا في الفوسفوفراكتوكينيز 1 بتاع الجلايكوليسيس فالجلوكوز cannot be properly oxidized ما فيش كده جلايكوليسيس شغالة كويس فبيحصل ده نوع من الجلايكوجين storage disease المصل طبعا هتبقى weak لأن ما فيش enough ATP هيحصل cramping برضه عشان ما فيش enough ATP مع أي exercise يبقى فيه cramping المايوجلوبين اللي هو المصل بروتين هيتكسر علشان Uh, damage due to lack of energy فيبقى موجود في اليورين وفي البلد myoglobinuria and myoglobinemia The second type of uh, uh, metabolic disorder genetic metabolic disorder MacArdell or, uh, which is a glycogen storage disease as well myophosphorylase deficiency here the defect is in the phosphorylase isozyme of the muscle 
uh, if you remember, the phosphorylase enzyme is responsible for glycogen breakdown, glycogenolysis. When this enzyme is defective, so we cannot uh, use, uh, the muscle cannot utilize glycogen as an energy source. So there will be weakness as well, cramping with exercise, no rise of blood lactate because the muscle cannot metabolize uh, 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 glycogen. So there will be no glycolysis or glycolysis is very weak myoglobinuria as well, uh, high glycogen content of normal structure deposited in skeletal muscle. We cannot metabolize glycogen, so it accumulates inside the skeletal muscle, but it is of normal structure. Here is the problem in the myophosphorylase enzyme, which is the phosphorylase isozyme of the muscle. It will cause the glycogen, it is not good. So the muscle cannot metabolize the glycogen, so it will cause muscle weakness, cramping with exercise, so there is not enough ATP. ما فيش لاكتيت طبعا لانه الجلايكولس مش شغالة كويس مايوجلوبينوريا برضو نفس الكلام هاي جلايكوجين كونتنت الجلايكوجين ويل اكيميليت باي ان ذا سكيلتر مسل Another type of metabolic disorder of the muscle is pumps disease. The defect here is in the lysosomal glucosidase enzyme, the enzyme responsible, the deep branching is enzyme or the enzyme responsible for breaking glycogen inside the lysosomes. Lysosomal 1,4 glucosidase deficiency uh, mainly affects the heart muscle. Here the affection is for the heart muscle leading to heart failure. There is excessive deposition of normal glycogen in the lysosomes of the heart. Skeletal muscle as well is affected, so there will be hypotonia, uh, loss of muscle tone or muscle weakness. Here uh, the pumps disease, we have already said before, this is the problem in the enzyme that breaks the glycogen in the lysosomes. So uh, uh, glycogen accumulates in the heart muscle, and there is heart failure. There is also the problem in the skeletal muscle, and there is hypotonia and muscle weakness. طبعا انا بقول الكلام ده سريعا لان احنا درسناه قبل كده مع الجلايكوجين ستورج ديزيزز تمام والجلايكوجين ستورج ديزيزز بقى هندرسها زي ما اتفقنا من السلايدز ومن ال من الباوربوينت من الهايلايت كمان اوكي okay.